Well, from space-age chickens to dogs who shoot their owners, we've got the news that'll make you howl on a segment that we like to call In Case You Well, you know, people have become healthier and more particular in their dining habits these days. Organic, cage-free, and all natural. Those are the buzz terms today. But how do you know if your chicken really did grow up cage-free in a positive environment? And how do you know that he was emotionally stable before he landed on your table? I mean, you could end up with an angry Attila the Hen type, right? I want to tell you the answer. It's GPS, baby. Food historian Robin Metcalf from the University of Texas says that once a chicken has its own GPS tracker, quote, People who potentially will buy that chicken will know every step that chicken has taken. <laughs> Not to belittle the noble chicken, but I'm sure there are hens all across America saying with this technology, we're running out of cluck. <laughs> Apparently though, this is a response to the farm to table movement. Now, not to egg these people on, but I feel like it's the start of a reality show. Young, fit, and nubile chickens all performing to end up on the plate of a worthy diner. I mean, it's kind of like The Bachelor or a chick flick. We can call it The Hatchelor. How's that? It's getting cold in here. All right, our second story. We have a lot of fun on In Case You Missed It, but right now, I need to address a little naked truth. We all love the thrill of a roller coaster ride, but how many times have you thought, man, this would be so much more fun if I could just ride it in the buff? Come on, audience, show of hands. How many of you would think that's fun? <laughs> Keith, what about you, huh? <laughs> Trey, Ben? Oh, absolutely, that's what I've lived for. If they said yes, they'll never be back on this show, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Well, there are at least 103 people in England who feel this way, and they're attempting to break the Guinness world record of people riding a roller coaster together naked. I know what you're thinking. How cheeky of them. <laughs> the world record has stood for almost a decade, but I guess these folks are about to end that streak. <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah. Well, I just hope that you don't see what they do there. I mean, the thriller than usual ride is taking place at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in England, appropriately named Pleasure Beach. Okay, kids, hide your eyes. No one needs to see that many wrinkles, dinkles, kibbles, and bits defying gravity all at one time. But I mean, who would want to ride that ride after those folks did it, unless you could give a good cleaning of the coaster? The current record, by the way, was set by 102 people in their birthday suits at the South End on Sea in Essex, England. Of course it was at the South End. <laughs> I mean, I guess if it's a roller coaster that goes upside down, we would say it was bottoms up. <laughs> Our next story is Dateline Berlin. Now we've all heard about the dog that bites man story through the years, but over in Deutschland, there was a dog that's taken his anger up a notch as the dog managed to pull the trigger on a loaded rifle when it was lying in his car. If I were that dog, I'd apply for the gun license and hunter's permit. <laughs> He's obviously a better shot than his owner. <laughs> well, a shout out to Al and Jackie in Montrose, Colorado, and their grandson. He's an 11-year-old who made a list of the things that he wanted to do with his grandparents while visiting. Now, as you can see, look at the screen real closely. Watching the Huckabee Show on TBN is right up there with swimming, milking the goats, and feeding the ducks, just to name a few. I say that's one smart grandchild, Al and Jackie. And a shout out to this other guy for deciding that man buns were just not hipster enough. It's his he hive. Well, I say he hive, he hive. No. Well, like a GPS track chicken who just met their new owners, we've run out of time. But always remember that we read the news. <laughs>